Hey everybody, what's going on? My name's Aaron from Quick Attack Films, and today we're here with a new game called Axiom Verge, and I'm really excited to play this game. Um, I'm largely going into this blind. I um, tried to record the beginning of the game earlier, but just it had a lot of sound issues. This game is very loud, and um, I guess uh, when I try to edit it, the game volume is way over my voice volume. And, um, I'm not smart enough to record my audio separately yet, but eventually I'll stop being dumb. Anyway, this is Axiom Verge. I'm really excited. It's like a platformer, Metroid-type, um, game. I'm just gonna delete the one I made earlier. Yeah, we're just gonna start fresh. Um, alright. So, let's start anew. Hopefully the audio is okay this time. I tested it and everything. If it's not, I'm gonna cry. We were playing on hard, so that's where I'm gonna go for this one. I didn't regret it as of uh, the first episode. So I kind of feel bad. Uh, New Mexico, 2005. Walter White was running rampant in the state of El uh, state city of Albuquerque. Next time on Breaking Bad. Scientist pokes computers. Trace, it's charged and ready. Thanks, Hammond. Stirring the pulse now. That guy's got some sick frickin' burns. By burns, I mean sideburns, not like third degree burns. Something you'll notice about this game is that it, it's got a very, like, nice looking retro look to it. Okay, so they're powering up the Death Star. It's weird, the beamlet was completely distorted. Trace, there's a problem! What's that sound? Kaboom! It looks very calm for an explosion. Okay. And the building collapsed on top of me. I knew it was all over. My life goals, all fruitless. But if this were truly the end, I'd simply die and stayed that way. Well... Let's just say that everything would have been a lot different. So I'm dead? Does this game take place in the afterlife? Like, is this hell? Should we go to hell? Okay. Trace! Wake up, Trace! Ugh, what happened? Trace! There is gun in next room! Must get it! That's how, I guess that's how I imagine that voice. Wait, what's going on? Where are you? Okay, that's probably not his voice, but I'm just gonna go with it. Hello? Where am I? Okay, I'm free, I'm free to move now. Okay, so I just sort of already played this part of the game, so I know where to go. Now, in order to unblock this here, Red Goo, I learned through many hours of um, t trials and... Um, tests that I need to go get that gun. So let's go get it. It's over this way. Boop. This game is, first of all, love the art style. Lo the controls are nice and fluent. Um, my character sort of feels like it's almost like Gordon Freeman inspired if you play the Half Life games, which I have not. <laughs> I feel like I, I just said something about Gordon Freeman, but I've actually never played the Half Life games, which I want to. Don't. Yell at me yet. So that's the That was a very satisfying sound effect. Okay, a high-tech biomechanoid weapon. I love it. Is this the gun the lady mentioned, or did I just imagine her? Sorry, I am very weak. Must go now, before he finds you. Before who finds me? What's going on? I guess she's gone again. Alright, so we got the gun. Um, we can't shoot anything in this room that I know of, at least. It'd be cool if I could, man. I if there's like a secret. What if there's like a secret here that I can just beat the game right away? I doubt it. But anyway, let's get to the, um, let's get into the meat and potatoes of this game. Let's get to it. Should we save again? Let's do it. I just like watching the animation. That's the sound it makes. Yeah, okay. Let's go through this. So, if I'm being honest, I mean, this is... 
This game is a lot like, uh, you'll notice, a lot like the Metroid games, which I have not played a whole lot of, which I, I sort of regret, but, um, you know. I, I wasn't really around during that time when they were making the Metroid games. Did they make any for the Nintendo 64? That's sort of what I grew up with. I was a 64 kind of guy. I don't think they had any... I can't do anything with this room, I don't think. Um, yeah, 64 kid. Uh, I don't think they had. Did they have? Surely they had a Metroid game for the Nintendo 64. I just never played it. Um. Anyway, I didn't really know what Metroid was until the GameCube came out, and by that time I had a PS2 already, and you now it's a PS2 kind of kid, one of those snobs. But um, yeah. So I never got into G Metroid. I want to, but some things are never meant to be. Where did I pass a door already? Oh wait, I got some, got some sick life points. There it is. Okay, what's in here again? Okay, it's that door. Now, in order to get out through this door, I'm gonna need some sort of uh, da, to gun attachment thing, uh, which I'll get later. But for now, I think we just gotta go through the top door. Not door, really. It's more just like a wormhole tunnel the worm tunnel uh oh my god okay there we go yeah i wanted to play this blind but i f um i just did not feel right sending out an episode of this with such like poor audio quality i mean you could it's still all right but it's just um it was just uh Hard to listen to, and I don't want that to, to happen. That, that's kind of a problem I have when making videos. I want things to be perfect, and if they're not perfect, I just um, I just end up scrapping the entire thing. That might not be a good idea, but um, hey, whatever. You're living in there. Um, ooh, don't want to hit that guy, and life points! Yay! Dude, we're going for a no-hit run. Let's go up in here real quick. Now, what is up here? I think I remember what's up here, and I don't like it. Hello? Yep! I don't like you! I don't like you, Cthulhu! Oh! It's pretty easy if you just... Okay, he did shoot me a couple times, though. This is... I think if I touch that stuff, I'm gonna be hurt, so I'm not gonna try it. Well, let's try it for science. Ah! Yep. Alright, science has proven that we get hurt when we touch that. Uh, that's Science 101, ladies. Um, and... Whoa. Um. 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 I don't know what those... Like, I think it's some sort of glitch-like thing. I don't know what they do just yet. Oh my god. How am I supposed to get that guy? There's one sneaking up behind me. It's like getting snuck up on by a snail. Doesn't happen. You never get snuck up on by a mollusk. Yeah, if, if you learn anything from this episode, just learn. You never get snuck up on by a mollusk. Alright, I don't care what it is. Um, first, I think it's Australia. There's some sort of like poisonous snails. That would be... Uh, that would be a way to go. What, I don't remember what's up here. What is this? Okay, we're going the right path. Okay, so we got a gyrating purple thing that must have an item inside. Can I just touch it? No, I gotta shoot it. Shoot! I love that little blah wow wow that happens. Firing once launches a large projectile. Firing again causes it to detonate. Okay, so that's what we got. The old spread shot. We can use it just as a normal... Uh, thing, but um, I just like my Axiom Disruptor right now. So let's. It's I think in my opinion it's just better for um. I got God taking care of the bad guys, but we're gonna need it in order to get to places like this. Oh, are you gonna allow me? I was like, it's not letting me do it. Yeah, kill the snails. Freaking hate snails. Oh my God! One time I was. Oh, ah, hey. One time, I, I used to live on, uh, I live in Michigan, and I used to live in Mackinac Island, 
which I don't know if you ever heard of. It's basically an island, hence the name. Um, that uh, it's really like scenic and like old timey. You're not allowed to drive cars on it. Um, and um, I came home one day. This is a long time ago. I was probably like five years old. And um, I like it was dark outside, and we didn't have a front porch light. So um, not because it was old timey. You weren't allowed front porch lights. This is literally just because we didn't have one. Um, I touched the doorknob in order to get inside. And I felt something squishy and weird. There were two snails banging on my door handle. It was the grossest thing I ever felt. Two snails going at it on my doorknob. And I had to touch that in order to get inside. That's one of the fondest slash grossest memories I have of uh, my time at Mac Island. Um, but yeah, we don't live there anymore because the snails are just rampant. I'm just kidding. Uh, I don't like snails. Yeah, no, I actually, I, I like. Uh, I've since uh, regained trust of my uh, mollusk brethren, so uh, we no longer have hard feelings towards each other. But um, okay, so we got the uh, shooty gun. Now that allows us to get in there. This is all just pro tips coming from the Quick Attack Films channel. Are you prepared for some tips? Good freaking luck. I'm dumb. Okay, so that was pretty easy. I I had to fight these blue like swarm guys before, and I was dumb, and I just shot them with my uh, Axiom Disruptor. But um, the Nova actually works a lot better. Whoa! Ah ah! I'm gonna die! Ah! Run 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 run! Okay. Uh, let's go this way. Don't hit any snails. Um, okay. This is a one complaint I have about this game, and I don't know if it's intentional, is that whenever you get hit, you turn invisible. Like, completely invisible. You don't just, like, blink. And it's just really confusing, and I don't like it. Okay, uh... Okay, good, I don't want to die from a snail. It's, uh... One thing that I do like, though, is that when you're beeping like this, like, the, uh, the life beep... It's in time with the song. <laughs> like, so it's not just like, eh, 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 like Legend of Zelda, and it's just annoying the crap out of you all day. Um, where's my other gun? Okay, let's get that out. We saved! Um, ah! My god! I'm, my, uh, let's just go back and. No, okay, fine, we won't. We'll just take. Okay, nope, nope. <laughs> I jumped into it twice, we're gonna go regain our health. Dear god. This is gonna tick me right off. Gotta go into the giant life egg, and if I swear to god if I hit that snail again. That's why we were killing them. I thought they were like defenseless creatures at first, but no. They're just giant jerks. Hey! Can you freaking mate on my doorknob? This is what you get. Okay. Anyway. That's one of my fondest memories. Not really. Actually, I don't know if they're snails or slugs. I might be hating the wrong type of creature. But, uh, either way, slugs, uh, they'll, uh, bang where they please. You just, you just trust me on that. Okay, let's get out of our Nova again. Let's try to take out those freaking swarm things. I guess we'll use the, uh, I gotta, gotta fight this guy. Eh, we got the Mega Press going on now. I'm, like, doing that thing where you gotta press really hard and you're just, like, Sort of tilt your thumb sideways. Okay, um... Yes. Oops. Boom. Are you really not doing damage to them? Okay! That was a mistake. Um, I was... I just got scared, so I got out of there. Let's go back in! Guns are blazing! Uh, yes. No. I am scared. They can destroy the terrain! They are... Oh my god, they're monsters. That, just that little one was already just wrecking me. Yeah, get it. Come on. Fight me. Do it. Okay, that was my best impression of Arnold Schwarzenegger I could do, and I'm sorry. If they, like, in my mind, it was, like, really, like, I was like, wow, that was top-notch impression of Arnold right there. But, you know how your voice sounds different in your own mind than it does uh, to other people? That's, uh, just that is what uh, I'm thinking. 
Look at all that juicy health points we just got from that bleeding, festering heart thing. And hopefully we get some more from this guy, because we are not at full health. Nope. Alright, and... Alright! They're dead. Huh? Okay, let's... No, let's get through here, and... Yeah! What? Oh, there it is! What did that do? Permanently increase the projectiles. Oh, that's not what I wanted. It increased the size of my projectiles. Axiom Verge. It's not the size that matters. It's it's just how fast you can shoot and uh, the, the penetrating power of uh, your bullet, bullet. Which I guess size would factor into. So uh, I guess size really does matter, guys. I'm uh, sorry to burst your bubble. Uh, anyway, I guess let's go down. Oh, yeah. We had this door to go into, didn't we? Okay. Let's find out what's up here. Woo! Hello? Okay, this is a... Uh, this uh, mission, or level, is home to my least favorite video game enemy of all time. And uh, you'll soon find out why. You see that guy right up there? Um, he's uh, a freaking douche. Look at that, look at that, listen to him! Listen to him! God, just give it a rest, would you? Ugh! It's the most annoying enemy! Ugh! The most annoying thing in video games besides me. You get it? It's self deprecating humor, ladies and gentlemen. I'm annoying. Okay. Game saved. Uh, is there anything else I can do in here? Oh, okay. No, not yet. I wonder if the uh, the save thing changes. Now it's like it looks like a red egg right now. Oh my god. I just hate you. I hate you. Can we kill you? Before? Yeah, die! It's gonna just respawn as soon as I leave, though. Can I do anything here? No? Okay. I guess we can't. Well, I guess we gotta go to the last room. And I know what's in the last room. Do you? <laughs> if you do know that, that means you played the game before, but I know. Oh boy, do I know. the sound of a boss. Also, the red door is a clear indicator. Um, okay. Okay, let's go. Oh boy. <sighs> Crap! I'm trapped! I said this in my first recording, but seriously, if you come in contact with that eye beast, the metal, like, like glowing eye thing, you're not, you're, you're, the expletive you choose is not gonna be crap. Alright? You're like, okay, I can think of a few choice words I would use in this situation, but I will not use them now. Demon! Okay, let's just be honest. I'm I'm a dude in pants, and you are a giant metal, like, flesh beast with metal on it. And you're calling me the demon. Whoa, hey, you can talk. Listen, I'm, a uh, lost and... Okay, why are you trying to reason with that guy? Okay, in real life... Shoot first, ask questions later when it comes to this dude. Okay, demon. Demon. Atheto se kill. Uh, so I, I kill you. <laughs> I kill you first. This is the American way. Whoa. Uh, let's shoot this guy. So yeah, it's a bit of a bullet hell type situation we got going on here. These bombs are actually not that big of a threat. I thought they were going to be a bigger problem the first time I faced them, but they're not really that bad. They don't hit. They don't hurt you on contact. Which uh, is good. It looks like we're getting his health down pretty good, and I'm kind of surprised we haven't gotten hit yet. Hopefully, we'll beat this on the first time. Come on, Eileen. Ooh, ooh. Uh, yeah, okay. But he gets harder, I think, as the time goes on, as boss, 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 boss battles do. Let's just hit him. He's not hitting us for some reason. Or just hitting the metal. Okay, that's not good. Come back here. Come back here, you wuss. Yeah. Oh crap! Oh, okay. I, I literally just <laughs> I like flinched there in real life. Uh, <laughs> after I got hit. Okay, let's kill him. Kill him. Kill him. Kill him. Kill him. Yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Kill. 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 No. 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 Uh, okay. Let's dodge these bullets real quick. There we go. Whoa, dude! First time it took me like it took me like three tries. Uh, the first go I had. Let's collect all this health. Oh my god. 
Nothing is more satisfying than seeing like a bunch of like collectible things and just doing this. Oh, oh. but then the least satisfying thing is that. Oh. Gimme. Isn't that just the worst? Okay, anyway. Let's go. Okay. Now this is seriously like what we're about to get is like one of my favorite things in this game. Well, so far I've played a maximum of 30 minutes of it. Uh, high power drill capable of cutting through rock. Now look at this thing. Isn't that so cool? Oops. Oops, I'm trying to use it. God. My god! Did I just forget how- Oh, okay, we're good. Look at that! That's the coolest thing ever! I love this thing! It's- this- that really reminds me of Gordon Freeman. Like, um... I don't know why. It's just something like Valve would use. What I- What I thought was kind of neat is that the, uh... The thing actually, like, if I just eek the trigger out just a tiny little bit, it'll spin the thing, like, really slowly. But the more I speed it up, the farther the laser gets. I don't know why that's so, like, appealing to me. And it's not just, like, a set animation. Like, and actually you can get stuck on different... I don't know, this is really cool. I like it. Okay, just stop. Just sue me, alright? No, just kidding. I don't do that. I don't have the budget for that sort of thing. Uh, woo! Let's kill this snail for... With a, with a drill. Alright, now let's... Oh! I didn't mean to pick that up, actually. I meant to kill the snail. Power node! Permanent increases the weapon and item damage. Okay. Let's keep drilling! Drilling like a villain! I guess that'll be the uh, title name. No, but no, that's a dead book. I just, I really love this drill thing. It is just so satisfying. And it, I don't know why. You just gotta play the game. Ah! I thought it was gonna hit me. Ha <laughs> ha! Hey, guy! Ah! Go! Well, I'm invisible! What was that? Is that a glitch? I don't understand. Ah, uh, anyway. Okay, so we got our drill. Uh, we defeated the first boss. I think that's a good place to stop, guys. I uh, hope you liked it. Um, this is gonna be, uh, I think, a fun series for for both of us, for the player and the watcher. I uh, hope you enjoy. Hopefully, um, I haven't really checked. Hopefully, Axiom version is just super played out on uh, YouTube and just nobody watches this. Uh, anyway, thanks for watching, guys. If you liked the video, please hit the like button. And if you want to see more. You wanna see more butts? Hit the subscribe button. Cause uh I don't know, I got a gameplay channel and you should subscribe to it. I don't know what I'm saying. Anyway, thanks for watching guys. I'll see you guys in the next episode of Axiom Verge. Good frickin' bye, ladies and gentlemen. But mostly the ladies. See ya!